All right, so you guys, here we are, hole six. First look at this from Pro. Let's take a look at what we're seeing here. The more wind they give us on this one, the better. This is a tough, tough hole. Even pointed it a little to the right, which makes things a little bit easier. I'm thinking of playing very similar to where you see opponent just kind of trying to beat it up around that corner and then just get it up into here is what I'm going to try to do. Since he has extra mile eight, he's going to have a bit more range than I do. A couple different things you need to be thinking about. If you don't have the best clubs, like me, I think, what am I playing? Thor four, I'm giving up seven yards to my opponent here. Um, may kind of change the way that I need to aim this a little bit. Biggest thing, you just want to make sure you stay short of this rough, stay out of the sand, stuff like that. But I would ideally like to go that way as well. You can also see that the wind's a bit down. With that being the case, you may want to go berserker here if you have less club like me. What this is going to allow me to do is make sure that I stay in range. So I want to make sure that I kind of make this drive as easy as possible and I don't forfeit a stroke on this hole. So if my wind's up at a 7, maybe I'll just go full throttle. If not, I'm just going to make sure that I get the ball in play foremost. That's going to be the secret to this one, potentially getting my Alba. If I can just keep this in play, give myself a shot, it's much better than trying to force the issue, great balling something into the bunker, or vice versa. But also keep in mind, you can see that I kept my power off and my top spin off. I was just trying to go for precision. So that's one of the, the big keys that I'd recommend. You can see opponent here, he actually got it to long iron, which is going to give that much more of a holdout possibility. So if you can get it up there a little bit farther, definitely going to be worth it. Just don't try to jerk that spin like that. If, if you have a straight wind, keep the ball guides going straight. You don't want to create too much of an angle if you don't have to. Now you can see I almost wound up a little bit in between clubs. So I'm going to have to try to avoid this spot moving forward. So maybe just a little bit more top spin next time. But this is more or less what we're looking at here. You go five rings. Just a hint of curl. Perfect ball. Ooh. Just coming in a little hot. Keep in mind the wind effect is going to kind of stretch that ball guide out. Wound up a little bit far on that one. But easy pitch from back there. So good luck with that hole. Catch you on the next one.